What is up you guys, in this video we are going to talk about whether or not you have to start a fresh food diet completely or if you can add fresh foods to your dog's kibble. Let's get started. What is up everybody, my name is Scott the Dog Dad from DogDadOfficial.com rawfeeding101.com and dogdadspack.com. Yes, I do a lot of stuff. And if this is your first time on the channel, please click the subscribe button as well as that little bell that pops up so that you get notified about future raw feeding videos. All right, now this is gonna be a really quick video because it's gonna be a very simple answer with a tiny little story. Now the tiny little story part about whether or not you can feed uh, fresh foods without making a complete transition to raw and fresh foods. The simple answer, is yes, you can. No, you do not need to transition completely. Um, I actually have two little micro stories, okay? So the first one is that I have a new friend uh, who has some smaller dogs and he was asking me, you know, hey, can you uh, be on the lookout for some fresh bones that my dogs can chew on? And you know, basically doing what people that can't or don't want to or aren't in a budget position to or they just don't want to, whatever the reason is, make a transition to a full raw diet, uh, he's taking steps to add in some beneficial raw fresh foods, which is freaking awesome. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Any fresh food is better than no fresh food. The more fresh food, the better. So there's your short answer there, is that yes, you can start partially. You don't have to go completely raw. Uh, if you want to start adding in an egg, if you want to start taking 20% of the kibble out and adding in, you know, fresh vegetables, low glycemic vegetables, you know, non-starchy veggies like kale, those other super plants, you know, chard, things like that, uh, or again, putting an egg over their kibble, then that's awesome. You don't need to go completely raw. Uh, another micro story is one of my one-on-one -on -one six week transition clients which is basically a program that I run where I basically hold your hand through the transition process actually wants me to help her um, transition to a half and half which I'm completely happy to do because for me that is even though the program is designed to take people all the way through a transition getting to completely raw food I'm still comfortable with it because I can help her dog get on to half and half fresh food, which will hopefully give her the confidence to transition her other dogs to at least half and half fresh food. So there's some micro stories for you. The bottom line is that you do not need to make a complete transition in order to feed fresh foods to your dog. You can start small. You can start taking out 20% and adding in 20% of fresh food. You can start putting an egg, you know, a, a raw egg over your dog's kibble. You can start giving them vegetables. You can start fermenting vegetables for them. You can start giving them recreational chews, which I recommend that you uh, do some research on so that you're not feeding inappropriate bones for your dog. And there's tons of places where you can learn about that, like my free Facebook group, which is Raw Feeding 101. You can learn about it in my online course, rawfeeding101.com. Uh, just make sure that you know what bones are appropriate for your dog before you do that. But the point is, is that there are tons and tons of fresh food options that you can add to your dog's food without making a complete transition. 